What's up everybody, it's your girl Shania. Welcome back to my channel, Beauty for Ashes. I just wanna come on really quick, just to give a moment of encouragement. Um, I was in the quiet time with God last night and he gave me the scripture, Matthew 6, 25 through 27, which reads, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more viable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? That was like one of my favorite scriptures back in college when I was trying to find a job and I was worried about not finding a job or an internship and all that stuff. He gave me that scripture and he gave it to me again last night. And I, you know, I wrote it down and stuff like that and great. And it was just like, God reminded me of like, you have nothing to worry, I'm gonna provide for you. But then it's crazy how you can know that and he just tell you that. And then the next day you might get some news that, you know, your job has just laid you off or this quarantine is gonna last longer than we thought. So, you know, it might be harder for you to pay the things you need to pay or, you know, buy food and stuff like that. And you forget everything God just told you. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm being very transparent. That happened to me today. I got some no, I got some not so great news and I forgot everything God told me last night. And I don't know what's going on on uh, social media, but everyone's doing these challenges, right? And I got tagged in a challenge called Share a Scripture. And I was like, okay, but I'll do it. Um, what scripture should I share? And God reminded me of that one. And when I read it again today, I was like, God, thank you. Thank you so much because I needed that reminder. Like God is such a good father that he will prepare you for what's going to come, right? He, that's what he does. God prepares you for what's to come. So he gave me that scripture to prepare me for what was to come today, which was the not so great news. And he gave me that scripture like, you're going to be fine. Remember, you're more valuable than birds to me and they eat every day. So know that you're going to eat. Know that you'll have clothes on your back and you'll have a roof over your head. And another thing that was really great about this scripture, how he says, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And every time they hear news about the quarantine or that things might become worse or we might be stuck in our homes, blah, blah, blah. People go crazy and start buying up all the food, buying up all the tissue and stuff like that. And he's saying birds don't even do that. They don't hide away things. They don't store up things because I feed them. And we're more valuable to him than birds. So know that he will make sure you're fed. Know that he will make sure that you have clothes on your back and a roof over your head. And it was a really great reminder today for me to remember just like God got me. And he got you too. And just remember that. And know that in the last part of the scripture, right? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? No, worrying is not going to cure the coronavirus. Worrying is not going to automatically open your job back up. It's not automatically going to add money into your bank account. Panicking is not going to do anything. That's why God says don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. So that's what I'm going to do. And I, hopefully this was a great reminder for you guys. Hope you guys were blessed by this. And keep your heads up. We're going to be okay. Promise you. We going to be all right. See y'all in my next video. Peace.